Alrighty. Um, we finished sanding, uh, my first stage of sanding. Uh, we sanded with a 120 grit, so we got it to bare metal pretty much. And um, before we paint, we're going to clean this piece off. Um, you can, you can, uh, you know, you can either wash your piece uh, with soap and water. <laughs> I mean, whatever you're painting, um, when you get before you paint, you want to clean it. So after you sand it, I've already blown this off. I'm a little blower here, and um, you want to clean it with either soap and water, or you can use lacquer thinner or which is what I'm going to use or if you use uh, some other kind of cleaning element or, or degreaser just want to get it as clean as possible so you don't have any um, uh, dirt or, or um, oil or grease um, on your uh, project you're painting you know so you can uh, avoid any cracks or any uh, difficulties when you start to paint Okay. okay, so I just poured a little bit of lacquer thinner and I just used a, uh, this is just a regular paper towel in the house. I'm just going to wipe it down and wipe down the surface nice and clean. I'm going to get around the edges. Um, pretty much get everywhere that we did some uh, sanding okay so once you have uh, finished your sanding once you finish your sanding you want to clean off your uh, cl clean off the <clears throat> whatever uh, you're you're painting where you want to clean off your your project um, you can use soap and water to clean it um, any kind of degreaser or or anything that's going to get the oil off, or get all the uh, get all the, uh, the the negative or the bad particles, because you don't want those in your paint job, um, especially, especially when you start painting with your you know putting your primer over. So you want to get everything out to prevent you know uh, any problems in the future when you're applying your your layers of coats. Um, I use lacquer thinner, and I use a uh, this is the lint free little towel that I got uh, this thing's washable so I can use this many times that I want and wash it so I, I just used uh, I, I like these because as from it doesn't leave uh, it doesn't leave any lint so any extra you know particles that I have to clean off so that's that's why I use this one um, so get the top off here get a little bit of lacquer thinner our tail. And we just wipe it down pretty much. So we're gonna continue to continue this wipe down uh, this whole piece. I'll also wipe down the uh, the opposite side too uh, just to keep as much or just to keep as many particles out of the paint room, you know, before I bring uh, anything in there. So we can just use this lacquer thinner, and a little bit goes a long way uh, with this towel. So keep wiping it down a little bit more. Okay, let's continue to wipe it down there. Down. We also have this side too. Let that down nice and good. Okay. Now that we're finished wiping it down, we're gonna um, take it to the paint room. All right. Uh, <clears throat> we're inside the paint room, and uh, what I like to do. Well, the final step you do before you. Put any kind of primer on. You want to tack off your uh, pieces that you're painting. This is this is the piece of tack cloth. You can pick this up at any hardware store. Um, you can even get it at Walmart, I believe. I 
think I got these from Lowe's. Uh, so you get your tack cloth, you just want to tack off or wipe down uh, the piece that you're getting ready to paint. So you get ready for your primer on. So you uh, just want to pretty much do it the same way you did when you were wiping off, um, when you were clean, cleaning your, your piece. And this tack cloth is going to get all the excess dust, all the excess lint, um, anything that you didn't get the first time around. Okay. So we're going to wipe this down, and I, and I like to do it in the I like to do it this in the paint room, um, just to, to to keep any other particles from from getting in. But once you know, once you bring it into your paint area. Um, or anything like that so that's why I bring it in here and then tack it off before I lay down my primer. Alright that's good. Got another side panel here. And that noise you hear is the exhaust fan which is sitting over there. So it's a big fan loud but it's actually a comforting sound to me I enjoy it when, I, when I'm in here and I can tell you why I enjoy it you can see right here our temperature on the outside is 45 degrees on the inside is 47 so it's much warmer in here no well, not much warm but it is warmer in here than it is outside and um we got some heaters going on here to, to heat it up. Uh, we got it. We got to be at least at 50 degrees um, Fahrenheit before you start painting. Uh, that's a good. That's pretty much the, the minimum temperature you need to be at. Uh, humidity is uh, high in here, and that's because the heater's going on. But um, as the air uh, circulates more, that humidity is going to go down. Um, so, but uh, but. Uh, that's an okay humidity. Uh, your really main concern when you're painting is your temperature. You know, you, you just want to get it above 50. You know, I, I like to paint, you know, I like to paint around 60, 60, 63 degrees. That's, that's where I like to paint. But um, you can get things done in, in 50, 50 to 55. You know, as long as you have a you know, decent paint area that you're going to paint in. pieces and uh, start to lay down a primer. Okay, primer. So primer that I use is uh, Omni MP170 epoxy primer. Um, this has proved to be the best primer for me uh, in my paint jobs and I use this you know in all my paint jobs. Uh, I use all my, uh, the plastics, uh, the metals, um, so there's, uh, there's a lot of different primers out there you can use, uh, a lot of good primers. Uh, this is just what I found that works best for me. And uh, it comes with a catalyst too, and that's our catalyst for our primer. Um, this is mixed with a two uh, to one ratio. That's two parts primer, one part epoxy. And uh, as I said before, I like to add a little bit of reducer to my primer um, just to kind of thin it out more to help it go through the paint gun. Um, a lot smoother and I get a better uh, better layer and you see this is a, a piece that I painted the test piece so using that same primer so all right uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix this we're gonna mix a big cup I'm just using a I think it's like a nine ounce cup and pretty much going to fill it up. I think I can get away with, uh, probably get away with this one cup for the first coat of primer. That's where we paint our first, co first, first coat of primer. We're going to go back and sand it down with a 220 grit to get it nice and to get it as smooth as it can be before we put our second and our th third coat of primer on.